Hello all, my name is Daniel Rose, blocking editor for GameTextures.com, and I will be taking you through a tutorial on how to use Game Textures Materials and Substance Painter. What you're seeing me do now is import the substance material I downloaded and unzipped from the Game Textures website. I'm importing it and setting it as a base material to the shelf in Painter. This is the global shelf and will carry over to a new Painter project. All of the materials you'll see me use are downloaded from Game Textures and imported in the same way. This is a great way to either start or augment your base material library. Throughout the video, you'll see me play with different material settings. Right here you saw me change the normal to OpenGL, so the normal will play nicely throughout the project. As I drag and drop materials into the layer window, I'm creating a fill layer, and those layers are then filled with the material I dropped. I'll then use various masking techniques to define where I want materials hidden, and where I want them visible. I'm also deciding what data I can discard from the material, and here I'm removing height and metalness, as this is a rock and I don't need either. I start with the white mask, which shows the entire material, and adding a generator to it. I'll play with settings and swap generators until I find a base I like. I ended up filling two layers with the same material during my recording process, so you just saw me fix that. Easy peasy. I'm adding a fill layer above the generator and end up using a basic grunge map to add some additional variation to the mask and thus the material. If you want to get really detailed, you can add a paint layer and paint your own mask and blend that as well. I'm now adding the dirt that you saw me import to the project on top of both rock layers. I'll be using the same techniques you saw me use earlier to blend this on top of the rocks. I'll also play with some sliders too, because it's fun! 
Game Texture's substance materials come with a multitude of parameters to play with, so enjoy them. Here I'm using a smart mask that comes with Painter to drive a lot of my blending. It's a high quality blending preset that anyone can create out of their own blends. This one came with Painter, and many others come with Painter as well. At this point, I'm fairly happy with the mask and the blend. I'll save my project and export the maps using the Unreal 4 preset, which you don't see me do. I choose the Unreal preset because, in general, it's my personal tool of choice. I'm using Marmoset Toolbag 3 to test this asset out. Toolbag is a great asset viewer and baking tool. In Marmoset, I have to flip my normal map Y direction because it uses a negative Y direction instead of a positive Y direction like Unreal does. I also will be using my packed map texture, the yellowish looking one that I select, as my AO, roughness, and metalness inputs. Marmoset lets you select what channel you'd like to use from a texture map, which is very helpful because I use a lot of packed maps in Unreal.
Now that I've set up the basic material, I'll cycle through a few lighting environments to test consistency. It looks consistent to me, so we're done. I hope you enjoyed.